Good morning, so obviously I am running late as always in the morning for uni. I just thought I'd quickly say hello um, before I start off the day. I have two lectures today but they're like really split up so I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the library. Um, but I just thought I'd show you my outfit because I really like this. It's like a new little um, sort of like dungaree, culotte, jumpsuity thing from New Look and I just really love it. And then this is from, I think, I want to say it's I saw it first, this like white turtleneck um but yeah i really like this like green and black check it's, it's cute it's cute and it like ties down the front and then i'm wearing my misguided balenciaga dupes with some kappa socks that i got from primark yay no makeup obviously because i haven't had time to do it so yeah i'll see you when we get to the library because i probably won't film my lectures <laughs> Christmas songs. We're gonna, Megan's gonna come back and the whole house will be oh, Christmas songs. She'll be so angry. 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 So, we're just about to go to Lush to make a bath bomb. Yeah. Hopefully. And then the Christmas lights. I haven't said. How close am I? Is this alright? How close am I? Quite close. It's quite, it's quite a close lens anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the light switch on. The light yeah, switch yeah, on. Yeah. Oh, I know, it's Christmas! <gasps> the big ball ball! Yeah, that's... Ready? <laughs> yeah, hurry up so we can go to Christmas! To go to Christmas land! Me and Hat are all ready for the light switch on! Megan's at home with her family, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. We're just Wait, on... Wait, you didn't invite her? No. Oh. <laughs> Just setting the alarm. Um, yeah, we're just about to go to the Lincoln light switch on. It's been going on, well, like the festivities have been going on, haven't they? Yeah. The festivities have been going on for the past like hour and a bit, but me and Hat are heading to, you can definitely cannot see us at all. We're just about to head to Lush um, to go do like a bath bomb making thing. And then we're gonna head to St. Mark's for the actual light switch on, which should be Great! You definitely can't see us, but yay! There's no lights on our street. So, so safe. <laughs> so safe and lovely. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> That's in love. You gotta get one. You have no choice. But... Oh, yeah, shit. Oh. oh my god, we've come into like the main part of town now. There's so many people around and there's so many like flashy things. How what's one of those unicorn balloons up there? <laughs> How much are they? Three for what? Two for five pounds? What? Two for five pounds? <laughs> we can get we can two. <laughs> Ask me a two. We can get some cash out. Yeah, we're gonna get some cash out. gonna go buy one of these luxury charity pots then we can make our own Christmas bath bomb. Am I early? Yeah it's all of the Christmas stuff that is what I want. That um, body mom, spray. My God, mom. The body spray. It's like yeah the bombs in five minutes. Yeah. It was we were really quick. I was going to be waiting around. Like, Just time. panicking so much. And now we have to wait 24 hours for it to like properly set. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like 
do we put it in the fridge to make it go quicker? That's weird. But yeah, I'm just a bit um, conscious that my bag is going to explode. It's in like, my rucksack. It's going to be everywhere. And I've got like a tote bag with, well, my camera was in it, but I don't think I'm going to bother putting it in anymore because it's scary. Um, and I don't want pink powder to go everywhere, but I know it's going to happen. Like I'm just like waiting for it. It feels happy when it'll be Yeah, 100%. So, you know, it's Christmas. It is Christmas, so you can't complain. You can't complain. You can't really complain when there's flashing lights everywhere. <laughs> right, anyway, we're off to Top Shop. What time is it? What time is it? Oh. <laughs> it <all> goes on. <laughs> oh, wait, me and Hat just panicked because everyone's we like, so counting down. <laughs> we're like, shit. But it's only half past six, and this video's gonna be on at seven. Otherwise, these would be lit up above us. The ball ball's gone up, though. Yes, there are some the uh, lights tree. that have gone up. We're just making our way. So many Christmas trees. There's actually a lot of Christmas trees. <laughs> What's happening? It went on. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Wait, it's Christmas? Oh my god, I just pulled it away. Oh my god! on now in the St Mark's area. I'm sure they're like moving up the high street now as well but me and Hatch just got some pics by all the little glittery things like the little bauble over there. Um, and now what are we doing? We're going home? Do you want to? Yeah, I'm happy to. We're gonna go home now and get lots of snacks. <laughs> a really Christmassy mood now. Me and Hattie have just come home, we've just had something to eat. Been watching Joe's recent reacting to his like Strictly Dance from last week video. Now I just thought I'd quickly show you like just some things that I got whilst I was out. Like I didn't get much, but basically you probably would have seen me and Hat went to Lush to, for their like Christmas extravaganza. It was really busy and lovely in there. We made our own um, bath bombs, which was fab. There it, it's in here. You probably can't see it at the minute, but it's basically a white snowflake but we just have to let it set for 24 hours and then it's all good to go so I thought it was going to explode everywhere but I managed to keep it all safe so that's fab and then I also treated myself basically I have been working with some really great companies at the minute and I've loved for ages and I've been getting some really good opportunities so I thought I'd treat myself to a dress that I literally just saw for two seconds in Topshop and fell in love with. Me and Hattie literally only went in there to go return one of her parcels but I literally fell in love with it, it was so beautiful. It might not even look good on me, I'm not gonna try it now after I've eaten food but I'm gonna try it on tomorrow so I'll show you then. But it's a vel blue velvet, um, like relatively short, these gorgeous buttons, sort of like the style of a, sort of like the style of a blazer dress but, um, it's not a blazer dress, if you know what I mean. It's just really nice, it's sort of like a crossover, it's quite low cut, and I just literally fell in love, so. I decided to treat myself to that, and it was there was money off it, because it's obviously Black Friday. Apart from yesterday, Hattie pointed out to me that Birchbox were doing to um they've probably still got the deal on now so you guys could go check it out if you really want to but they're doing two birch boxes for five pounds and then i think you pay two pounds for delivery so it's like seven pounds ish to get two birch boxes which are usually like 13 pounds each i think or like something around that and you get like at least five beauty products in a subscription box so you're essentially getting 10 10 beauty products for a fiver, which is just crazy. So if you guys want to get yours, then I'll leave my link down below so then you guys can go through there and it will link you straight to the website and stuff. I, I, that's not an ad or anything. Like Hattie sh showed me yesterday and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> instantly got one. And I convinced Neve to get one today. <laughs> um, I was like, oh my God, Neve, it's amazing. Like my friend from Forensic Science and I think she got one too, so great. <laughs> um, just constantly the worst influence ever in making everyone buy everything. <laughs> Cause I'm like, life's too short, but also we all need to save our money. Like I am actually being quite good at the minute. I've put a lot of money aside and um, because I've got like two massive holidays planned over the next two years. Um, I've already spoken about my skiing holiday 
with my boyfriend which we're doing next winter so this time next year-ish like December time and um, we're planning on going over New Year's skiing for like five days-ish um, and obviously that costs quite a lot to like rent equipment and buy all the clothing and stuff for it as well everything that goes along with it it's quite an extensive holiday and then the following year um, I think in 2020 when I've graduated um, in summer me and my family fingers crossed are going to be going back to Disney World Florida. Yeah, I'm Disneyland, Disney World. I can't remember which one's which, but I am obsessed. Like I used, we used to go when we were younger, me, cause it was obviously much cheaper back then. Um, me, mum, dad, and my brother um, would always go to Disneyland every like four years or so. I think it was every four years. Yeah, the last time I went, I was 10 though. So it's literally been 10 years. And by the time we get back, it'll be like 12 years since I've been, which is insane. So I cannot wait to go back. It's literally like a dream. I will be getting autographs from the Disney characters. I will literally be a child again. I want to relive all the memories and it's just going to be so sick. And I think Aiden's coming with us as well. If he, um, it just depends like when it's going to fit around everyone. So fingers crossed it does. I'm sure we'll make it fit around everyone. But like me, Aiden will be going, my brother, my little cousin, my auntie, my mum, dad. I always say little cousin, but she's like 13 now. <laughs> I keep thinking she's six. That's weird. But yeah, just in case anyone cares um, and wants to stick around and subscribe, even though the vlogs are like years away. <laughs> um, fingers crossed YouTube's still around then, but <laughs> of course it will be. Anyway. I'm just blabbering now. I'm just getting a bit excited and I'm in a better mood than I have been for the last week, honestly. Um, I don't want to make it out as, I don't want to bring the vlog down, but I have been struggling and you'll have definitely seen that at the end of last week, um, end of the last vlog that I uploaded to this channel. So yeah, I really appreciate all your support because I've had so many messages already from that. And yeah, I don't know. I just really appreciate all the messages, all the lovely messages, because I did put that I was having a few days off social media. And although I've been going on it a little bit in the evenings every now and again to like treat myself, it's been really nice to nice to see all your lovely messages. I've just been taking a bit of time off um, and not being as crazy on social media just for my own mental health and well-being. And fingers crossed I'm getting it sorted because I have been to the doctors today, as you would have seen earlier in the vlog on my little um montage bit. But yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go upstairs, ring my mum, because I haven't spoke to her in ages because I've been so busy with uni work. And I will catch up with you in a bit before I'm a celeb start. Yay. Right, so I'm just in bed. I've just had a phone call with my family, which is really lovely. Um, but I just saw someone message me and ask about the podcast that I listen to. And I'll tell you some two really good um podcast I listen to I haven't really like explored a lot but my favorite as always are the receipts podcast I don't even know if I've spoken about them on my channel before I think I have once um but I put them on my Instagram story all the time because they honestly make me laugh so much there's like they're three women who run the podcast and they're just so honest and real and genuine and hilarious like I actually like piss myself laughing in the street listening to them and like people send in their dilemmas and they answer them um to what they think is like truthful like they never ever sugarcoat anything they're literally even like if people have come in and said something um looking for help like sometimes they'll just like bring them down if they're if they're doing the wrong thing i don't know i can't remember what it was but they, they were like no you're in the wrong sort of thing so they like proper go in and a very like honest and truthful and that's what i love about them and they talk about like real life issues as well as like funny things and taboo topics like sex and things like that honestly my favorite i'll read out my favorite um episodes of their podcast because there are some absolutely hilarious ones i'm midway through the my mental health one where they've actually got a guest on but i'm gonna get my favorite um my favorite one. Oh, it's playing um what even is boys is the best one like i recommend you start on that one because that's what i did and then i got completely hooked so what even is boys love is blank i had a threesome with my colleagues is a really good one um, what other episodes are there? Uh, I remember XXX is the one about sex that made me laugh a lot. How do I deal with misogyny at work? That's also a great one. There are literally, there's literally tons and tons and they're just amazing. And then I also like the Joe Rogan, 
um, podcast. I think, I don't know if it's called that, but basically Joe Rogan's podcast, he did like an episode with Darren Brown that I really found like insightful and like interesting. So I love that. Let me know if there's any other ones you think that I would like. Maybe some scientific -y ones. Um, I really want to start, I can't remember what it's called, but one of my friends um, that I met at an event earlier on in the year recommended one to do with like blogging and the like inside world of bloggers, like to do with like the money side of things, which I'd find really interesting because apparently they talk really open about that whole thing i really need to take these out now that i'm in my pajamas um but yeah i really want to check out some blogger podcasts and i also want to learn to do some scientific ones and actually get some knowledge and some random little facts and stuff so yeah i also like really deep things like about why we're on earth and stuff like that as well as like chatty videos like the receipts podcast but yeah if anyone has any podcasts that they'd like to recommend feel free to down below um, and yeah, I'm just about to um, sit and do some blog work because I haven't had time to do that in absolutely ages because I've just been focusing on my biology coursework, which has been getting me down. But me and um, Neve actually smashed it today at the library. Um, we went and got a Tesco meal deal, <laughs> then sat down in the library for, I think it was three hours in the end and got cracking on our biology and we've done quite a lot. Um, so I'm really happy with how we've done. And tomorrow we're meeting up um, in the library and spending the whole day there but fingers crossed we'll get it all done tomorrow and then it will be over like thank the lord <laughs> I can't wait for it to be done because my life will be so much better it's literally one of those pieces of coursework that has literally got me down like I don't understand some of the questions which is what's frustrating like it's not me procrastinating or anything it's like I don't understand it I've researched about the topics I've reread the lecture notes I've like done everything I possibly can and I still don't understand it which is why I hate it so much and why it's like really getting making me so low and it's making my like confidence drop a lot because I'm like I don't know anything I'm so stupid and then after the whole thing from my last vlog where I didn't do as well as I thought I did in one of my assignments that I'd already submitted. I've just been really low in confidence about my knowledge and um, how I'm performing at uni. So I've just been in a massive stress over the last week, which is why I've been a bit absent. But I'm back on track. Well, I'd like to think I'm back on track. I'm definitely not back on track yet. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. And thanks for all the lovely messages again, because I keep getting them through and they're so nice. Right, so me and Hattie have just finished watching I'm a Celeb. Um, and as you know we haven't just, it's a few hours afterwards, we were just chilling downstairs for a bit, like doing some work, like I think Hattie was doing her essay that she's got you in next week and I was doing a bit of my coursework, I was replying to some YouTube comments, doing a lot of bits and pieces and um, with some like TV on in the background and we just had a bit of a nice little chat and now I'm in bed. Um, thank you very much for watching this vlog, I really thought this was going to end up being like a weekend vlog but I feel like I've got a lot of, a lot of content in today, um, hope you've enjoyed catching up with me. And yeah, make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog, subscribe down below if you're new. If any of you are wondering, because I had a couple of comments on my last few vlogs saying am I doing Vlogmas, I am, I'm so excited about Vlogmas. I've sorted out all my intro and everything and it's sick. I'm really happy with how it's all turned out. So yeah, I'm really excited for Vlogmas and I will be vlogging daily from the first definitely to Christmas and definitely going to be doing Boxing Day because we do a lot of things as a family then. But I don't know if I'm doing like the whole of December. Like, would you prefer to see that? I don't really know. And um, because after Christmas, it's sort of like a mm, time. And I don't know if I'll be doing mu much that's exciting. So I'm definitely going to be doing the 1st to the 26th. And I'm going to be doing it so... Um, we vlog it. I vlog on the 1st of December and then I upload the 1st on the 2nd of December and it, I do it like that because I think that's the best way to do it. Um, so yeah, I hope you like that idea and I hope you're excited for Vlogmas. I'll be doing lots of stuff to do with the uni. There's really exciting things um, going on um, throughout the month of December as well as my assignments but I just need to get them in and then I'll be absolutely fine and we can have all the festivities. Great. So yeah, I'm looking forward to December and getting these assignments done so I can be a happier version of myself. Um, subscribe to me if you haven't already and you enjoy what you see and I will see you very soon. Bye.